What's up, everybody? Welcome to Knock the F Out Podcast number 16. This is Chuck P. Seville's Finest, along with the right-hand man from the land, Mr. Carl Cleveland. And we're going to talk about the fight from last night. The big middleweight unification showdown between Danny the Miracle Man Jacobs going, to get, going up against Saul Canelo Alvarez with three belts on the line. Will Canelo leave with three titles or did Danny pull out the miracle and then he leave with three titles? Well, I put it to you this way, man. I know I, but you know something I got to admit, you know, I've, I've, I've tried to throw out a, 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 a curve ball here. You know, I was trying to, I was really hoping I said, well, you know, Danny will stop him in the championship rounds, you know, that was me really reaching for the straws, you know, but we all really knew what was going to go. If it came down to a decision, everybody knew that, you know, Canelo will win that. And that's exactly what happened. It came down to a decision. But, man, I got to say, man, this was a damn good fight, man. This was a damn good fight. Um, Danny Jacobs, he, he was doing exactly what I had wanted him to do. He was working that jab, man, keeping his ass at arm's distance. But the thing about Canelo, man, and I was like, man, Danny Jacobs, dude, when he was throwing, man, man, Canelo Alvarez, man, and, and, and especially in those earlier rounds, especially in the earlier rounds, man, he was ducking and dodging Danny Jacobs, man, making that shit look like a, looking like a goddamn cartoon. You know, that head movement. That Canelo got, man, I was like, man, he out there really trying to look like Mayweather from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, he definitely he definitely learned a lot from Mayweather, especially defensively, too, man. You know, but um, I will say this, though. In the second half of the fight, I thought it was definitely a turnaround. You know, I, I, I will say that I gave Danny, in, in the earlier rounds, I gave Danny round five then i gave in the second half i gave danny shit i gave danny rounds seven eight nine and ten i thought danny had a strong second half of that fight and especially in rounds eight and nine shit in round nine canelo had proved to me that he could take a punch because danny had hit his ass clean with some power upstairs in round nine and I thought if that was anybody else I thought they would have been down man and I said damn Canelo took that flush clean and still walking right through it you know so I'm like man Canelo man you know he, he it was it was what I thought it would be man it was what I thought it would be and I'm not mad at the decision I'm not mad at the decision man Canelo pulled it out man um you know, Canelo had 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 good shots to the body. You know, had a had a better. I would say he had a, a uh, overall a little better inside game, just like I thought he would. Just like I thought he would. And even when Danny would when when he started having success with Danny from the outside, and even when Danny had switched, when he started switching, start working the right. You know, Canelo was still starting to have more success, man. But 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 Danny Jacobs was tagging him, man. Danny Jacobs had a damn good second half of that fight, man. I I I I think Danny had a way stronger second half than Canelo. But I think the earlier rounds, man, you know, kind of, you know, kind of kind of told the difference. I believe if Danny would have came out, and he did come out aggressive in in the first couple of rounds, he did come out aggressive. I like I like how Danny was looking even in the fill out rounds. But, you know, I guess what the, the spectacular looking defense that Canelo had, man, and, you know, the the, the power shots that he had, because Canelo did have some good ass power shots on him. You know, I guess it's just enough for him to edge it out, man. And we all knew if it came down to a decision, Canelo was going to win it, man. But, Mr. Cleveland, what's your thoughts on the fight? Um, I feel a little different, man. I feel like Danny had an opportunity. He just didn't take it. Danny looked old. He looked slow, and he didn't really do what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to back up Coletto more in spots. I wanted him to uh, jab. Um, Canelo really made his jab non-existence because of his defense. 
until, uh, like you said, Canelo started slowing down big time second half of that fight. I had a little different. I, sc- I gave Danny the first round, the third round. I gave him like round nine and ten. But most of the other rounds I gave to Canelo, it was a couple of them that could have been like toss-up rounds. But I feel like Canelo really, he showed that he's on the elite level. I thought that Danny would outbox him and then they would give the decision to Canelo. Man, Canelo just beat him to me. It will, I, I really can't see how you could give it to Danny. If you wanted to draw, maybe if I was trying trying to uh trying to give Danny the benefit of the doubt, but man, Canelo landed the cleaner, harder punches. Uh he dictated the fight, man. And he was really dominating. Well, he was outclassing him until he got fatigued in that second part of the fight, second half, and Danny started turning it on. That's what he needed been doing from the beginning, but nothing Danny was doing was working. When he was fighting Orthodox, it wasn't working. When he was fighting Southpaw, it wasn't working. Danny went to the body a few times. I wish he'd have did that more, but Canelo showed, man, he a beast. He got a beer too, because he took a couple uh he could took a couple shots from Danny that I thought was gonna knock him down. That round, that round nine hit, man. Yeah, and all he did was back up. But I thought Danny should have been more aggressive then, but he wasn't because that lets me know that Canelo has some pop. He might not have enough pop to knock you out, but he got enough pop that's respectable. So people not coming in there wild and reckless. Danny, man, for the most part, when he sat down on his punches and tried to hurt him those couple times, it was cool. But he was pity patting, man, trying trying to win that way, and you wasn't gonna beat Canelo that way. No, nah, hell no, nah. exactly, exactly, oh. yeah, yeah. Danny, so I, you, I was, you, you didn't give you didn't give Danny round eight. I don't remember that off the top of my head. I just remember um round one, round three, and I remember nine and ten because I figured, all right, if Danny win the rest of these championship rounds, uh, right. Right. In this fight, but he won round nine, round ten, then eleven. I gave it to Canelo, and I yeah, think I yeah, 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 eleven and twelve. Yeah, I, I gave it to Canelo. Man, you gotta look at that round eight again, man. That's when he started getting catching fire on him. Yeah, I have to look at it again. Yeah, that that round that round eight is what set the tone up for that for that big hit in nine, man. Round eight is when he started really getting in him. For some reason, yeah, it's just a. Uh, I don't remember it. So, yeah, I have to look at that again. But I just remember I'm trying to think, what was that? Was that a left hook that he caught Canelo with or a right hook? He that, was the right, that was a right hook. Yeah, and that oh, nice clean. Hook. Yeah, it was it was nasty. So, yeah, man. But, yeah, but you know what, man? Like we thought, man, if, if you left it up to the judges, definitely, man, it was going to Canelo, man. Is that, that, that. I mean, Danny Jacobs needed to knock this man out clean. I mean, point blank period to win this fight, you know. And, uh, and you know, I went for the stretch. Sometimes you got to take a game. Well, I went for the stretch, but in my heart, man, you know, Canelo Alvarez, man, he 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 a beast, man. Like I said, he 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 deserves to be in the talks for number one pound for pound fighter of this generation, you know. But now let's have a little fun, man. You know, the stars were out last last night, and you know, pretty much fight week. And did you catch the interviews between uh, Bud and Errol Spence, Mr. Cleveland, at all? No, the only thing I caught was uh, Errol saying it's messed up how Bob ain't promote Bud fight right. They did more time talking about Lomachenko than they did Bud. So that's the only thing I really caught. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Bud had an answer for all of that. You know, they caught my boy Bud, man, clean, fresh to death, man. And, and, you know, they asked him about all of that, you know, all the shit that Errol Spence was saying. And, you know, Terrence said, you know, it's it's funny, man. You know how it's funny how some people can act a certain way, you know, when they see you. And then when they get on the camera, you know, they want to talk crazy. He said, but let me tell you something right now. Bob don't run me. Al don't run me. Don't nobody run me. He said, and whenever I'm ready to do something, I'm going to do it. He said, you know, um, when it's going to happen, it's going to happen. He said, and, and, and when it does happen, he said, I'm going to let everybody know who the man is. 
You know, so he said, you know, these people talk greasy, talk about, you know, vibe running me and all this other, all this crazy shit. Dude, just wait, patiently wait, and you will have your turn to get your ass knocked out. Go ahead and do what you got to do over there. And when we see each other, it's, 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 it's a wrap. It's a wrap, you know. And so now Errol, you know, they interview him. You know, and then they asked him about everything and he talking about how he better than Terrence Crawford at everything, you know, and, and I'm just like, come on now, Arrow, man. Come on. Are you you, you really going to sit up there and tell them lies? You better than Terrence Crawford at everything. Dude, I cannot wait to 2020. And Arrow Spence has said, he said, it's definitely going down in 2020. Definitely going down to 2020. And then, you know, I didn't know that uh, Team Canelo had went up to Errol Spence and made him a $20 million offer. They want to do a Canelo Alvarez versus uh, Errol Spence fight. But see, here's the thing. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't, I don't think that. Because now now it probably could have happened back when uh, Canelo was at 154 and, and, and Errol Spence was even calling his ass out then. But since Canelo had moved up, man, I don't, I don't, I don't see the fight happening, man. I hope it does, though. You know, I bet the Mexicans definitely want Canelo to avenge that loss from Mikey. I, I know they definitely want that. And if the price is right, man, hey, who knows, man? Who knows what might happen? But I don't see that fight happening. But anyway, man, you got anything you want to say on your boys' behalf? Talking all greasy about Bud, telling all them lies like that. He ain't telling lies. Hell, Bud said that himself when they said you gotta talk to uh you gotta talk to Bob. So I don't know what he's talking about. Bottom line is this, man. If Bob don't want Bud to fight nobody, he's not gonna fight him. It is Bob's decision. So I, I don't know why Bud wanna get all like that now. It's like, come on, man. That's why people didn't want him to sign with uh Bob Aaron to begin with when his contract was up. They wanted him to sign with PBC because it'd have been easier to make the fights. So don't get on here now because you're trying to save face. Don't get me wrong. I rocks with Bud, man. I rocks with Bud. But that what he said goes both ways, man. Come on now. If Bob say no, we, we not having this fight right now. It don't matter what Bud want. That fight ain't going to happen. So for him to get on camera and say anything different, nah, what he's accusing Earl of doing, he's doing himself. And I rock with Earl. I rock with Bud too, though. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going to keep it 100. Just like if, if Earl doing something that's in the wrong, I call it like I said, man. Still going to rock with him, but can't do that, man. Ooh, I can't wait for Bud to knock this motherfucker out in that's 2020, it. man. It ain't going to happen. Oh, my God, man. Dude, oh, I, dude, I swear I'm going to rub it in your face every day. Every day from then on from 2020, man, when he knocked his motherfucking ass out. It's going to happen. I mean, oh, my God. Sorry, all right, so, man. Yeah, yeah. Sound yeah. real good. Yeah, all right. But, yeah, my guys, that's another episode of Knock the F Out, man. Knock the F Out 16, 16 episodes in. Canelo Alvarez gets another win, man. Hey. Next week, it's gonna be a good one, man. We got another one, man. Oh man, let me look at now. I tell you, man. Now I guess that's my alarm for letting me know to get the hell off this damn internet. I'm sorry, y'all. I be so busy, man. I got alarms everywhere for everything, man. And I, I do got something else I got to get into now. But yeah, man. Next week we got J Rock Williams going up against. Jerry Heard, man. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. Mr. Cleveland, I told you this a couple weeks ago. I don't know who's going to win that fight, man. Dude, J-Rock is a, he's an animal, man. Young, hungry animal, man. Jerry Heard, man. Come on, man. We already know what's up with Heard, man. Heard is a beast, you know. And the thing is, man, for, I was looking at Heard a little bit in training camp. Heard looking real crisp, man. He looking like he coming to win next week, but like I said, man, Julian J. Rock Williams, man, ain't nothing to sneeze at, baby. You talk about another good fight, man. Y'all can't miss this one, man. You know we gonna be all over it. Chuck P. C. Bill's finest, Mr. Carl Cleveland. Hey, man, before we get off, man, you got something you want to say about that J. Rock Williams and Jerry Hurd real quick, man? What you think about it, Mr. Cleveland? I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be good until J. Rock get tired and then Hurd going to knock him out, man. No, no, no. You didn't gave him too much already, man. You couldn't say that for next week. <laughs> I mean, I, I can. I, I might change depending on what I see 
And I got to go back and look at uh, J Rock. It, it could depend because uh, J Rock ain't no bum and he ain't no slouch. So J Rock mm-hmm. also hurt him early because everybody know he's a notorious slow starter and get him out of there. So this is man, it's a possible thing, man. And right now, I, I I can see either one of those things going, but uh, what I'm leaning towards is what I told you. And you know, I I still don't know, man. Like I said, I got to go to the lab, man. I got to check out a few more things. Make yeah, it I do too. Man, I do too. So uh, that ain't my yeah. question. That's just my thoughts right now because I still ain't went back and looked at J Rock again. Oh yeah. So Chuck PC was found this Mr. Carl Cleveland. Check us out at wrestlingwrestling.com, founded by Andre the Great, Andre Corbill. Man, support the channel, subscribe to his, subscribe to mine, and jab that like button, man. We'll truly appreciate it. We'll catch y'all next week for knock the F out number 17. Take care, y'all.